Larry Bird, what, what, what should we do before 2040? First, you should listen to my other videos because I go into great detail on that. And uh, I don't mean to just keep telling y'all to listen to video after video, but what other choice do I have? I mean, I, I was so many videos and answered so many of these questions already. Uh, I can give you a small, a small abbreviated answer right now. The, uh, you can be a prepper. And you can decide where you want to physically be when, it, when, it, when this event occurs. But every single preparation you do for a coming event is only an admission to the simulacrum that you're unsure, that you are fearful, and that you are worried about the future event. That creates an informed field. And any, any future activities that are physically done by you to further perpetuate what you've been thinking in that, in that vein are responded to greatly and quickly by the simulacrum. It will give you a reason to be alarmed, to be fearful. Yeah, it's, it's, it will commiserate always. This is why you need to live a life of absolute freedom from fear. You've got to, because that itself creates an informed field that is awesome, and it totally repels all phenomena that would be an agitator, all phenomena that would be antithetical to anything that you wanted to experience. Yeah, man, it's really, we are really far, I say it all the time, we are more than we suppose ourselves to be. The problem is, the central nervous system has got you believing that you're this. This is you. It's not, man. This is nothing. This is an avatar. This is nothing. It's an avatar. Inside this avatar is a dynamic piece of the oversoul that can think for itself, create informed fields by virtue of imagination, feel what those are by virtue of empathy, and know how to get to, get to the point of receiving what that thought is through intuition. You're a spiritual being. And a spiritual being has no business fearing at all. Anything. I'm not preparing for 2040. Never will.